Two-fifths of the people on Earth earn less than two dollars a day. In Bangladesh, where four-fifths of the people earn less than two dollars daily, the poor are increasingly demanding one thing, a safe place to save. I think the poor need savings more than any, anybody else. Fazal Abed heads BRAC, the largest non-governmental organization in the world which works to empower the poor in nine countries and in 70,000 villages across Bangladesh. They're earning as irregular. They need to save more. There are too many days where there is no food in the household. So if they don't save, they starve. So Kine Begum lives on a nomadic island, one of thousands of shifting silt bars in the vast Jamuna River. This is one of the poorest areas in Bangladesh. In a scene played out in villages throughout Bangladesh, Sokina takes her passbook to a savings meeting organized by a local NGO where she makes a cash deposit. The poor have all the uncertainties around them, all the risk around them. Savings is one strategy to protect from those uncertainties. And uncertainties come from any direction. From the family direction, there may be uncertainties that nobody is earning money. Or it can come from the weather, just a disaster, a flood. Without that savings, the way you will fall down from the present position, Savings is protecting you to keep to that level where you are so that you don't slide back into the terrible situation that you were in. So gradually, you step by step, you move your levels. So, and savings are the one which holds you at that position. When people start savings, they're looking forward to something, and then gradually they can build up something uh, to invest. Traditionally, Banks have not catered to the poor. We are talking about the rural population. Commercial banks are not there. You find that banks are not really interested in poor people's small sums of money. And that's the reason why some of the social development organizations, such as BRAC, has gone into providing this service for the poor. The basic principle of Grameen Bank is people should not come to the bank. Banks should go to the people. So we're going to all these 8 million plus borrowers in all the thousands of villages where they live. My name is Mrs. Helena Akhtar, I'm a boy, 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 रोजगार Across Bangladesh, mobile technology is creating easy access to safe places to save. Black Bank has now got a license from Bangladesh Central Bank to try and mobilize savings uh, through cell phone. You can provide all kinds of banking services with a mobile phone, health services, educational services. You have no boundary where it stops. <laughs> Chapter, Dosta, Gurus, Nostro, Chavat, Tulas, Sedapa. 
it came and it conquered the whole country. It's everywhere right now. We have over 58 million subscribers in a country of 150 million people. It will certainly change the vulnerability of the poor, being able to have access to savings. What happens next 10 years? It's up to us to decide. So whatever imagination we can bring in, whatever vision we can bring in, we can make it happen. My name is Samida Vibi, Bari Naranpur, Boyesh Ponsa, Zila Bogro. Four years ago, I was born in Sonsa. 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 আবার হয়তো একখানি জমি নিলাম আবার হয়তো দুটো ছাগল পাললাম আবার হয়তো একখানি আবাদ করলাম এই জন্য আমাকে ওইটা সঞ্চয় আমরা উন্নতি করতে ওটা দিয়ে তখন আবার বাইরে করি আমার এই দেহটা এটাই হলে সুখী এনে খাট পেপার পারিছে নুন লিয়ে ছিচ্ছে খাটিছে বা হচ্ছে সুখী বসে থাকে খাচ্ছে